My name is Dr. Claire Cunningham, and this paper was originally published on the Conversation website in 2018. In it, I talk about my doctoral research, for which I conducted interviews over a couple of academic school years in eight schools across the north of England. I spoke with more than 30 members of staff, from head teachers and deputies, to EAL coordinators, class teachers and teaching assistants, as well as non-teaching staff like family liaison officers. My research findings mirrored many other studies um, across the Western world, which show that there remains a strong monolingual ideology in mainstream schools in countries where there is a dominant language. This means that there is an expectation that success at school will only come from an almost exclusive use of the dominant language. Children find it almost impossible to find space to use their other languages in their education, and they usually stop trying to. Teachers in my study report children as being embarrassed to use their home languages as they go further up the school. While teachers are really positive about children becoming bilingual, it's hard with the current education system for schools to really support and nurture that emergent bilingualism. Teachers' attitudes towards and knowledge about multilingualism are known to be critical factors in children's feelings about their languages and, crucially, in their chances of maintaining their home language and achieving their full potential. That's why it's great that there's so much ongoing research in this area taking place in the UK and across Europe and the wider world, and I'm thrilled to be part of it.